Hi, my name is Giant Rodriguez. I'm co-owner of Skeleton Crew Productions and Beyond These Walls Haunted Attraction. Um, in partners with Xavier Martinez and Andrew Montoya. Um, we've been doing this uh, at our house for quite a while, uh, my house, to, and uh, started off as a couple of friends getting together, but since then it's grown into something really big. So we we'll want to take you through our journey and hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Giant Rodriguez. I'm co-owner of Skeleton Crew Productions and Beyond These Walls Haunted Attraction. Um, in partners with Xavier Martinez and Andrew Montoya. Um, we've been doing this uh, at our house for quite a while, uh, my house, to, and uh, started off as a couple of friends getting together, but since then it's grown into something really big. So we want to take you through our journey and hope you enjoy it. Um, started off just as a couple of friends, as a hobby, putting things together. Um, we enjoyed hanging out, and so it kind of be, it started off just for fun. And but everybody kept coming back every year saying, well, what are you going to do or we like what you did. And so it was started off as after that, it started to grow into a um, self recognition. People were praising us. And so we wanted to do better. Uh, we never charged. Uh, we do this at our at my home. Um, and so a lot, it's on Halloween night. Trick or treaters were coming and more and more kept coming. And they were coming as far as other towns, Uvalde, which is about 70 miles out. And we're like, man, they really want to keep coming back to see this. And it just kept growing. Um, and the more they kept asking or talking about it and hanging around, the more we wanted to give and the more we wanted to do. And it was done free. It was all charity for kids in the neighborhood. We were, I mean, we gave our time. We, um, it started off real small. Um, I remember the second year we did it, uh, I spent $1,000 and it was, uh, had to hide it from the wife. Mm. I had three items in a layaway um, and it was a really big deal. And then uh, we were like, well, let's go a little further. Let's build something bigger. And we, the next year we spent about 2500 Then it went to about five. We spent about 5000 And then it, it took a big jump. And we went up to ten. We spent a lot of money. Uh, two years ago, we hit 13000 And when, when people say, and all this is in your front yard, yes. But it's also everything that leads up to it. Uh, we go to conventions, seminars, training classes, makeup, electrical, lighting, fire uh, safety classes. And so every class that I have to pay for that's $50 and that each of us go to, it's another 50 bucks. Uh, the trip alone, you know, $2,500. So when you think about what we spend to get to where we are, we've been putting in money constantly through the years, making it grow. And we've just realized that, uh, you know, it's probably best that, you know, people like it that much, we we'll start charging and that way we can do more. So we decided we officially, officially purchased our, uh, registered those names, Skeleton Crew Productions and Beyond These Walls. And that's when we became partners, went downtown, we own those names, and we're going to open a haunted attraction. Uh, so, but that's kind of how we got started. Um, why do I love doing it? Um, it has to do with the creativity side. Uh, we make something out of nothing. It doesn't exist when we start. We draw it out on paper, and from the items not even knowing where to buy it or find it, it we literally, it comes to us. Uh, somebody says, oh, I happen to have that. Oh, you want to make uh, barrels? Um, hey, I got some old keg, keg bottles you can have. And, and things just start popping up, but we make what we want. And we've uh, created it out of nothing. It wasn't there before. Our yard's empty. We start from scratch. We wipe it out. Um, and we rebuild entirely new scenes. Um, and so it, it, afterwards, it's kind of cool saying, we made that. It didn't exist before. Um, the... Everybody enjoying it, all the neighborhood kids and everybody and people from out of town that come to see it and join in. Um, I enjoy also the part of hanging out with everybody because it takes about 45 days to set up. Um, it's done all through volunteer work right now. It's all friends who just enjoy doing it. We all hang out together, laughing, making jokes, uh, scaring people at the end. Uh, it's part of one of the payoffs as well as hearing the good comments is when you know you hear the screams all the way through to the end and they're still laughing after they scream, then, then you can tell that uh, we did our job, they got scared and they're having fun doing it. So we had The fun. last one was actually, um, it was a little bit of a dream I had and Xavier had, uh, we're, it was a tight year financially for us, so he came up with the idea of trying to reuse what we had in a totally different way. And we had a jungle room the previous year. So if we could take that jungle and use it, and he goes, maybe you can make it look uh, abandoned we do some kind of tunnels and I said okay well what's in it and he goes I don't know something abandoned I said maybe like uh, zombies or mi military and we kind of started spinning off each other and it ended up becoming an abandoned sewer system that the military had took over did all their science research uh, 
the virus escaped, uh, created zombies, and so where you started off in a storm drain tunnel, which was the dream that I had of that tunnel, um, you end up going through their private compound, their bathrooms, facilities, science lab, med lab, their storage area, uh, come across other tunnels where the subway crossed into it, and then when you start to come back out, you start running into more vines, and you see the vines through the whole thing, but as it starts to get thicker, you realize you're coming back out, and it's between two houses, you come out of a creek, and so it's, it's kind of how that one came about. It's just usually uh, everybody in a group kind of working together for one idea. Uh, my daughter was two, and so she preferred, she's a giving person, preferred to hand out candy instead of go receive candy. So we uh, decorated the front of the house with a couple of foggers. My first fogger was, uh, it was uh, uh, sound quality as far as it would, you know, you could use it as a concert or stage. It was before Walmart even sold it. Uh, fogger so it was a real big deal to neighbors to have a fogger back then I mean it was it was a 300 uh, the cheapest was 300 it was really a big deal and so they just were blown away by that and a couple styrofoam tombstones and I was like well if you like that I, my brother was originally the one that helped me I said dude we'll build a cemetery mm -hmm. and uh, and then next year we'll put, we'll put a mausoleum and that's what ended up happening we built an eight foot by eight foot mausoleum and that's actually about the time Xavier really came into it because he was the one that actually found that was also helping build a lot of that cemetery and it was nothing cheesy or small. It was took up about a thousand square feet of our front yard. So that's kind of where we started. Let's see here. Um, we do have a major outline of our goal. We obviously want to move into a building. We're looking for donations and investors uh, to help us reach that goal. It's our passion, our dream and we, you know, but as far as uh, our plan for inside. It's going to be along the same lines, we're just going to do it a lot more intensely. It's an abandoned tunnel system uh, that the military was obviously doing their research. Uh, doctors, uh, military people, they all got infected. It all spread and so the idea is to go in and get out. Uh, they happen to, you're on the tour, you walk in, you actually come across, a, stumble across a tunnel and you find out what's down there. But uh, we have some tricks in store and some ideas. Don't want to give too much away in detail because this is probably this is going to go public. So um, we don't want people to be surprised and kind of have some anticipation of what is around the corner. So that's about where I'll leave it at. I want to thank everybody who's helped through the years. It's unbelievable the amount of people that have come across, and I'm not exaggerating by 70, saying 75 people have helped put this together. From the first ones, there were people were um, just cooking family and friends, uh, friends were bringing over food afterwards. So afterwards, everybody that came to see it or actors that were helping in it or helped build it, we all hung around afterwards and talked about it and what, how people reacted and we spent an hour or two just sharing what happened. And, and so there was a lot of people that were involved down to you know food, to donations, to props, to building, uh, to people raising money for our first convention that I went to by myself. Um, and, you know, it was a big deal to spend $1,200 back then when we first started on something that was just for trick-or-treat as it hadn't really turned into a passion and going to be a business yet. So, I, you know, we thank everybody that's been a part of it. We really do. It means a lot to all of us.